This month, two lunar landers will launch on the same rocket. The two landers are Firefly's Blue Ghost and iSpace's Resilience. Both will launch on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, with a six-day launch window opening in mid-January. Both will eventually land in the Moon's northern hemisphere. Firefly's Blue Ghost will remain in Earth orbit for about 25 days. Then it'll take a four-day journey to the Moon, spend 16 days in lunar orbit before finally landing on the lunar surface. And that surface mission is expected to last about two Earth weeks. iSpace Resilience's journey to the Moon is going to take much, much longer. They'll use a low-energy elliptical transfer orbit to slingshot to the Moon. Landing will occur four to five months after launch. Both companies are attempting successful landings for the first time. This is Firefly's first lander, and iSpace had a lander that crashed into the Moon because of software issues. Firefly participates in NASA's CLIPS program, which is NASA basically paying commercial providers to develop landers that will support their Artemis program and the return to the Moon. The lander is carrying 10 NASA science and technology payloads, including ones to study lunar regolith, computing in a radiation environment, and navigation. The mission will also include the first test of NASA's electrodynamic dust shield, which is an experiment to remove sharp and sticky lunar dust with electric fields, which is necessary for things like maintaining solar panels. iSpace is a Japanese company, and Resilience is carrying a micro rover called Tenacious, developed by the Luxembourg Space Agency, ESA, and iSpace Europe. It's also carrying five other payloads. 